Well, morning guys, or well, afternoon, sorry. I really need to get my times right, don't I? Well, it's uh, one o'clock in the afternoon. It's been an interesting morning thus far. Joanne's gone over to Anana's place to say hello to her and tell her about the baby and stuff. Uh, thanks to everyone for all the comments on the last video uh, congratulating us on the baby. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, everything's going well. It's a hot day today, 27 degrees. Whew, cooking. Um, it's been an interesting morning though. We, uh, I don't know if I've mentioned, we've got a couple of bogans that have moved in, in the building next door and they uh, just carry on like they want the whole world to hear about all their business. And this morning they're having some type of domestic. Went for about an hour or so and then they were out the front like they're about to leave and like he's going, you F and C, calling her this. And there's like two little girls with them like, I don't know, waist height high, so maybe five, four, five, six years old. Obviously, you know, great parenting. And uh, yeah, so there's Karen on this and I'm just having to be on the couch in my pajamas still, just starting to watch the V8s. And I've yelled out, you know, watch your language. And then they're, they're sort of like, going all quiet for a while. Oh, who do you think you are? And I'm like, I just, whatever. So they started now off me and I, you know, told them to pull their heads in. And then uh, they basically left. So they're going to be back in like about an hour, hour and a half's time. It'd be very interesting to see if they decide to uh, push the matter further. Because if they do, I may have a chat with them. Um, so yeah, should be an interesting afternoon. But anyway, I'm uh, just finished doing the shopping. I've got to do some washing up, and then I'm going to sit down and watch the V8s, which should be just about to start the race. I think now, maybe one o'clock. I think the race starts about now. So yeah. Anyway, time to for some lunch and cleaning. All right, guys. Why do I always start every clip with, all right guys? Okay, anyway guys. Um, yeah, just sitting here watching the V8s, check it out. Don't you love being able to pause TV? I know I said that yesterday, but yeah, anyway, I do. Um, chapter two with the Bogans. I, um, they came home. I told you that last time they'd come home and they were mouthing off a little bit downstairs. But I, you know what? You, I had a choice. You can either go outside and say something to them and get them riled up even more, which don't worry, I'm very tempted to. I mean, I'm big enough to look after myself, so more than happy to uh, explain the laws of physics to them. But you know what? Sometimes you just have to make different decisions. So I just called the local coppers. It doesn't worry me at all. I didn't bother going out. They're in there yelling, screaming at you. They're like having a domestic over there, you know, you're effing this and you're effing mole and just, just bogan trash, basically. And so I just called the coppers, let them know that they were, you know, they were out over there having a, basically a, a full-on Barney, which I didn't have any concerns for them. Um, but you just never know. Like, he's obviously been drinking. He was drinking a beer when... I'm just organising some lunch. Um, he was drinking beers when he left. And then, obviously, his demeanour when he's come back, he's like, bring it on, bring it on, yelling it up, you know, to my apartment. But you know what, buddy? If I brought it, well, let's just say there wouldn't be much of you left. Um, there you go. We don't need to get into that. Um, so yeah, I just called them, and I think that's what you're supposed to do. Let me come put the camera up in here. Let's see that a little bit. Does that work? Oh, no. There we go. How about that? There we go. Oh, it's a bit dark. Let's get my pies all nice here. Um, yeah, see, a lot of people won't do things like they let bogans and morons carry on with that type of behaviour. If you live somewhere and you've got people or neighbours carrying on with that type of thing, say something yourself or call the coppers. The coppers don't mind. I mean, look, you will get some lazy cops that won't want to do anything, but you just call the police, report it, the cops will come round and say something to them. It was amazing. The cops came round, went upstairs and spoke to them, and I undid the door a little bit just so I could hear what was being said. And he went from being, oh, effing this and off that to, oh, yeah, no, nah, no nah, worries, but yeah, I had a bit of a fight with my missus this morning. We're stressed. We've got to go to the doctor about this and this and this. And just, it's just been a really bad day. And it's very, very big change in his demeanor. So, yeah. Um, and now that the, the officers of the coppers left, and I have not heard a peep out of them now. They all came downstairs before. And another thing, he's got like two little daughters with him. Like, you are just trash if you swear like that in front of your little kids. If any of you guys swear like that in front of your little kids, wake up to yourselves, because that is just ridiculous. Talk about bogan trash. Anyway, so they left, and not a peep out of them. They've gone. I think they must have dropped the mum off somewhere with one of the daughters, because now only Dad and one of the other daughters has come back here. Not a peep out of them. Gone upstairs, just going about their day. So, you know, if you don't do something, if you don't ring the police, if you don't say something to people like this, they just think it's normal and it's okay to do. Well, guess what? The world isn't like that, okay? So wake up to yourselves. And if you get in a situation like that, if you don't feel comfortable saying something to them yourself, call the police and get the police to say something to them because 
If you do nothing, what's that saying? What's that? Um, evil triumphs when good men do nothing or something? That's exactly right. You know, if you don't say anything, people like that think that it's okay to carry on like that and the rest of the world will just put up with it. Well, no, sorry, we won't. Pull your heads in, so. Anyway, that's my little rant for the, <laughs> for the afternoon. Um, what are we doing here? Just putting some pot, I know. I've, I've had pies like six times this week. It's really bad. But, um, and I did the shopping before it as well, but I don't feel like I've brought anything that's worth eating. We've got a giant watermelon here. You see the watermelon? That's for Joanne, because she said she had a hankering for watermelon. Anyway, I'm going to have some pies, sit down here and watch the rest of the V8s and relax, and hopefully I won't hear anything more out of the Bogans. Alright anyway, guys, just came back from the run. 31 minutes, 15. Absolutely smashed. Oh, I almost wanted to stop. You can tell it's been at least a month since I've run. Well, there we go guys. That's not a bad uh, city sunset. Holy dooly. As I said before, 31 minute trip. Oh, you can tell I haven't run for a long, long time because I'm just absolutely smashed. I'll go out for a big long walk now because I just don't want my muscles to cramp up. It's just, I started to stretch out and I could feel myself cramping already. Absolutely sore as buggery. So, yeah. Oh. I need to get back into running. Putting on too much weight, getting too soft, and getting too unfit. Not a good combination. Alright guys, well it's, uh, it's actually 20 to 11 and uh, we're just heading off to bed now. It's a little bit late to be on the bed but it's really warm tonight so we've opened up all the windows, trying to let a bit more air blow through. Um, yeah. That's about it, I'm just sitting down here now to edit all the video and upload the vlog for the night. And then we'll be into bed, I've got tomorrow off, and then I'm back to work on Tuesday morning. So tomorrow's Monday, yeah, back in Tuesday morning, so yeah. Anyway guys, I hope you had a good day, I hope you've had a good weekend, and I'll see you in the morning. And yes, I'm feeling a little bit better after my run. I had a healthy dinner too, like salad sandwich and watermelon, how good is that? Anyway, off to bed, or off to edit the vlog. <laughs>